Many people don't understand abstract art or say they hate it. Well, why is this? Many abstracts look like random splatterings of paint or random swashes of color. Galleries and museums have even displayed white canvas with white paint and called it abstract art. If a piece looks like you could have done it better yourself, one is hard pressed to consider it worthy of museum space or worth the many thousands of dollars some of these pieces can command. Well, what is good art or bad art? It's a matter of personal opinion. When discussing art with others, I think the label of good or bad is a bit simplistic as an evaluation. Who knows when an art piece may resonate to another person with a different background, experience, or cultural heritage. My belief is that any creativity or personal expression in the arts should be encouraged and generally should not be simply labeled as good or bad. I prefer to use words like inspired, captivating, thought-provoking, mesmerizing, or such. These terms can be used in the negative and can serve as constructive criticism to the artist rather than an outright rejection without reason. So what is the deal with uninspired, not captivating, not thought-provoking, and not mesmerizing art that appears to have little value but sells for large sums of money? Well, controversy is newsworthy. Controversy sells. Things that are known the world over are considered of greater value than unknown things. A white canvas in a gallery selling for $30,000 makes the news. Everyone hears about it and talks about it. It's good for the news media. It's good for the gallery. It's good for the artist. People remember it and we're still talking about it. There is a thing called conceptual art. Conceptual art is art in which the concept or idea involved takes precedence over traditional aesthetic and material concerns. Hence, we have white canvases with white paint. Another aspect of all of this is investment art. Independent of the perceived artistic value of a piece is the fact that artwork from well-known established artists or highly promoted upcoming artists may be considered a good place to park your money with the idea that it can be sold later for the same or more money. During certain periods of time, the art market outperforms the stock market and the real estate market. There is a lot of really great abstract art out there. Ignore the pieces that do nothing for you and ignore the fact that some uninspired looking art sells for large sums of money. Don't feel intimidated or uninformed because of these pieces. Look for pieces that inspire you. Look for the abstract pieces that you find captivating, the pieces that are thought provoking or mesmerizing. What you think is all that really matters. If it moves you, consider buying an original or a print and hang it on your wall. It's a great way to personalize your space and give you something new to look at and think about. Give abstract art another chance by seeking out pieces that have meaning or resonate with you.